Introduction Ma'am, who built the Qutb Minar? Qutb Minar was built by Qutbuddin Aibak. Ma'am, how tall is the Qutb Minar? <laughs> it is 72.5 meters tall. That means the Qutb Minar is 7,250 centimeters tall. Isn't that so, ma'am? You are absolutely right, Sumit. In this lesson, you will learn to express fractions as decimals and perform some basic operations on them. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to represent fractions as decimal numbers, express decimal numbers in expanded form, arrange decimal numbers in ascending or descending order, add, subtract, multiply and divide decimal numbers. Fractions as decimal numbers Arpita is busy decorating the pages of her personal diary. The lines on a page of her diary divide the page into 10 equal parts. Thus, each part represents 1 by 10 of the page. 1 by 10 can also be written as 0 0.1. Therefore, we can say that 0 0.1 is the decimal representation of 1 by 10. Arpita went with her father to buy her school shoes. Prices of footwear in the store were expressed as decimal numbers. She wondered what the decimals in the prices meant. 100 paise make 1 rupee. In other words, one pesa is one by hundredth of a rupee. It can also be written as 0 0.01 rupee. Therefore, 95 pesa form 95 by hundredth of a rupee. We can express 95 pesa as 0 0.95 rupee. Therefore, the decimals in the footwear stood for pesa. When the value of an object is expresses in terms of money, decimal represents passe. Decimal representation. In real life, we use decimals extensively to express quantities and lengths. Let us now represent in decimal form. Liquid quantities. Solid quantities. Lengths. Savita's mother asked her to get a half-liter milk pouch from Mother Dairy. When she went to buy it, the person at the booth handed her a 500 ml pouch. Savita was confused. Is 500 ml the same as half-liter? To be able to answer this question, we must first understand the units used to measure liquids. Take a look. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Therefore, 1 ml is equal to 1 by 1000 liter. That is equal to 0 0.001 liter. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. Therefore, 1 liter is equal to 1 by 1000 kiloliter. That is equal to 0 0.001 kiloliter. Now, we revisit Savita's confusion. 500 ml is equal to 500 by 1000 liter. That is equal to 5 by 10 liter. That is equal to 0 0.5 or 1 by 2 liter. 500 ml of milk is the same as 1 by 2 a liter of milk. Savita is now relieved. Akshay accompanied his mother to the vegetable market. There, he saw his mother buy 250 grams and 500 grams of different vegetables. He wanted to express the quantities purchased as kilograms. To be able to do so, Akshay must first understand the units used to measure quantities of solids. One gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. Therefore, 1 mg 
is equal to 1 by 1000 gram. That is equal to 0 0.001 gram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Therefore, 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg. That is equal to 0 0.001 kg. Let us now express the vegetables Akshay's mother purchased as kilograms. 250 gram is equal to 250 self-assessment. Click and match the items of a column A with the items of column B. Comparison of decimal numbers. To understand decimals better, we now compare decimal numbers with the help of expanded form, ascending by descending order. Let us look at some examples. Karan bought a pen for rupees 20.50, while Ravi bought a pen for rupees 20.05. Whose pen is more expensive? Cost of Karan's pen is equal to rupees 20.50 that is equal to rupees 20 and 50 paise cost of ravi's pen is equal to rupees 20.05 that is equal to rupees 20 and 5 paise rupees 20 and 50 paise is greater than rupees 20 and 5 paise therefore Current's pen is more expensive. Let us look at one more problem. Ravina's family consumes 2.5 liters of milk every day. Her friend Karina's family consumes 2000 milliliter of milk every day. Which family consumes more milk? Milk consumed by Ravina's family is equal to 2.5 liter. That is equal to 2 liters and 500 milliliters. Milk consumed by Karina's family is equal to 2000 milliliter. That is equal to 2000 by 1000 liter. That is equal to 2 liters. 2 liters and 500 milliliters is greater than 2 liters. Hence, Ravina's family consumes more milk then Karina's family. Nishant, Mukul, Piyush and Parikshit bought 3.5, 3.55, 3.45 and 3.05 kgs of mangoes respectively. Who bought the maximum and minimum quantities of mangoes? Let us first arrange the decimal quantities in the descending order. That is, the decreasing order of values. The decimal numbers are 3.5, 3.55, 3.45, Let us rewrite the numbers so that all of them have the same number of digits after the decimal point. So, we have 3.50, 3.55, 3.45, 3.05, self-assessment. Drag and drop the decimal numbers in the blanks in the ascending order. Operations on decimals. We now perform the following mathematical operations on decimal numbers. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Let us look the above mathematical operations in our further screens. Addition. 
Jaya bought 50 liters of cooking oil, 32.5 liters of milk and 41.25 liters juice for a family function at her house. What is the total quantity in liters purchased by her? Cooking oil purchased is 50 liters. Milk purchased is 32.50 liters. Juice purchased is 41.25 liters. We add the three to get the total quantity purchased as 123.75 liters. Jaya purchased a total quantity of 123.75 liters. Subtraction Mr. Narayan earns a salary of Rs. 42,345.79. Out of this salary, he contributes Rs. 2,317.52 to Provident Fund and pays Rs. 4,314.25 as tax. What is the balance salary left with Mr. Narayan? Provident Fund contribution is Rs. 2,317.52. Tax paid is 4,314.25. We add the two to get the total deductions as Rs. 6,631.77. Total salary earned is Rs. 42,345.79. We add the two to get the total deductions as rupees 6,631.77. We subtract the deductions from the salary earned to get the balance salary as rupees 35,714.02. Rupees 35,714.02 is the balance salary left with Mr. Narayan after deductions. Multiplication Rajat's car covers a distance of 12.5 km in a liter of patrol. How much distance will the car cover in 5.5 liters of petrol? Distance covered in a liter of patrol is 12.5 km. Distance covered in 5.5 liters of petrol is 12.5 multiplied by 5.5. First, we multiply 125 by 5. Then, we multiply 125 by 50. We add the two products to get 6875. As there are two digits after decimal point, one in 12.5 and the other in 5.5. We count two digits from the right and place a decimal point before 7 in the result. Therefore, the car will cover a distance of 68.75 km in 5.5 litres of petrol. Division Aruna buys 7.5 kgs of sugar and spends rupees 230.625 on it. Find the cost per kg. Cost of 7.5 kgs of sugar is Rs. 230.625. Cost of 1 kg of sugar is 230.625 divided by 7.5. To divide 230.625 by 7.5, we first remove the decimal point in the denominator by multiplying the denominator and the numerator by 10. A multiplication by 10 shifts the decimal point to the right by 1. Now we divide 2306.25 by 75. Write the two numbers down as shown. Take the first two digits of 2000. 306.25 together, that is 23. 23 is too small to hold 75. Now consider the first three digits together, 230. 230 is big enough to hold 3 times 75, that is 
225. Therefore, write 3 on the right and 225 beneath 230. Subtract and write the difference. 5 below. Bring 6 down. The new number formed is 56. 56 cannot hold 75. So write 0 to the right of 3. Bring 2 also down. Since 2 appears after the decimal point, place a decimal point to the right of 0. The new number 562 holds 7 times 75. That is 525. Subtract and write the difference. 37 below. Bring 5 down. The new number formed is 375. It holds 5 times 75 exactly. Write 5 to the right of 7 and 375 beneath 375. Subtract. As the difference is 0, write cross to mark the end division operation. Therefore, the cost of 1 kg of sugar is rupees 30.75. Self-assessment. Hey kids, it's time to have an activity. Read the question carefully and click the correct option. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Fractions can be expressed as decimal numbers. Units of measurement of liquids. 1 liter is equal to 1000 millimeters. 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liters. That is equal to 0 0.001 liter. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. 1 liter is equal to 1 by 1000 kiloliters. That is equal to 0 0.001 kiloliter. Unit of measurement of solids. 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. 1 milligram is equal to 1 by 1000 grams. That is equal to 0 0.001 gram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg. That is equal to 0 0.001 kg. Units of measurement of length. 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. 1 mm is equal to 1 by 10 cm. That is equal to 0 0.1 cm. 1 m is equal to 100 cm. 1 cm is equal to 1 by 100 m. That is equal to 0 0.01 m. 1 km is equal to 1000 meters. 1 meter is equal to 1 by 1000 kilometers. That is equal to 0 0.001 kilometer.